Hello, video maniacs of all shapes, sizes, and colors. This is Practice Dummy. In this video, I'm going to show you how to um, set your own stats concerning Baldur's Gate Enhanced Edition for each character that you create. Um, I'm, concerning this, I was really kind of like torn about using a program to enhance stats with. I prefer like trying to re-roll my character even takes like 50 times to get, um, you know, 90 or above on the total points you can use for stat allocation. But after over 100 times trying to roll, probably closer like 200 plus, trying to roll my first character because I was creating my custom party, I could never hit 90 or above. And it's like, what the heck? So, you know, I looked on the internet, found uh, what was needed to, you know, do the stat roll. And I admit, I feel a little kind of like cheap about doing this. But, you know, the game should have built into, you know, to allow you to be rewarded for some patience as a result. So the first thing we want to do now is, first of all, if you haven't already, install Baldur's Gate Enhanced Edition. Then what you want to do is you want to go ahead and start up the game and go through. And then we want to click on Baldur's Gate, get to the single player uh, button here on the menu. And what we want to go ahead and do is click pre-generate character. And then um, go ahead and um, go through most of this. And I'm going to go through here kind of fast on most of this. And just select uh, things fairly quickly. Now, when we get to the ability screen, don't worry about messing with this. Uh, you're going to be changing all those stats anyways, so you can get out of that. And on the skills, the same thing. Feel free if you want to just you know, to click on some stuff to get rid of the points. But you can change that with the program I'll be showing you here. Uh, same thing with appearance. You can mess with it now or you can mess with it when you get to the uh, using the program uh, to do that with. And I believe the same for the sound of your character. And then, of course, uh, the name of your character you can also do, but might as well do it now while I'm here. Practice Dwarf. Okay, once you've finished up with the name, click on the Export button. And down here on export file name, uh, you're limited to eight letters for the export file name. So name it something that you'll be able to pull up easily enough with the program that we'll be using here in just a moment. And after you create your export file name, click done. And then go ahead and click back button twice and then quit the game. All right, the next thing you'll do, and I'll have the link in the description, is you want to download a program called EE Keeper. Now, the link will take you to this page, or should take you to this page. And then the next thing you want to do is click on the Files tab. Then you want to download the latest version. As of this video, it's 1.0.4.0. You can either download the zip file and unzip it yourself, or you can download the EXE file and just double click on that uh, when you downloaded it to your computer and you know start the program so we'll go ahead and do the exe file we'll go ahead and save and I'm gonna save it to desktop and I already had saved it to desktop yay me once you've done that then go ahead and uh, click on uh, the file and start running the program and it'll install uh, it's straightforward on the installation, so just go through and just uh, go through the motions to install. Now, it does not create a desktop icon for you, or at least not in Windows 10, but um, that's all right. Uh, just go through your Start button and find EE Keeper on the list of programs and go ahead and start her up. Okay, once you got it started up, let's go ahead and open up the character file. Click on File, select Open Character File, and then select the character you want to change stats in. And of course, as I said, it's limited to eight characters. Here's Practice, my character I created for this video. Click Open. All right, and you got your character here. For example, uh, just go ahead and click or double click, 
and then like you know case click just use the backspace it'll warn you you got to put in a positive integer <laughs> but uh, and then go ahead and change the stats to how you want And uh, you can also change some of these other stats here, but um, have uh, uh, pay attention. Some stats you can only change up so high. I have never reached the limits. Mostly I just wanted to change these right here for myself uh, for the character, but I left everything else alone. But you got other things here. You can change the characteristics of your character. And of course, here's the appearance. Uh, inventory. Um, not 100% sure uh, how to work this. This is something I hadn't messed with myself. As I said, this video is mostly about changing stats. But then uh, you can change the maximum amount of spells your cleric and wizard can memorize. And then uh, the proficiencies, you can change those up. I put in you know, two-handed sword and two-handed weapon style. But you can click on one of those and take it down to zero or you can take it up to five and max but it depends on your character is uh, where you can take that at but i think the stat stats here may override the defaults in the game itself i'm not 100 percent sure with that but it has the option here so you can change up your proficiencies same thing with resistances you can change up uh, your resistance values. Just be careful of the number you select. There may be a limit there. But uh, we'll go back to abilities tab. Once you've done setting all your stats, stats through you know this um, uh, tab here and the other tabs, click the update bonus stats button. And it'll change certain numbers here, like right here to base and hurt current HP. It changed the number here to 15. Change your AC here to 6. That code 17. And changed a couple other numbers here, I think. But then after you've done that and you click the update bonus stats button, go ahead and up in the upper left and click file. And you want to click save. Now I'm going to get the, the dialog uh, option to ask if I want to override the character. You shouldn't since this is your initial creation. But go ahead and uh, no, I take that back. I'm sorry. You will see the dialog box there. But go ahead and click save. Then click yes to override and your character is saved. Afterwards, go ahead and click out of the uh, uh, the windows there and go ahead and start up Baldur's Gate Enhanced Edition again. And go ahead and see the results of your handiwork. Go ahead and click single player, new game. And then when we get to the new game character create generation screen, click import because you want to import your character. Click on character file. Scroll down until you find your uh, character that you created uh, new stats for. In my case, it's Practice Dwarf. Uh, select uh, your character, click done. And then you don't have to worry about uh, going through and changing the appearance if you changed it in E Keeper or you changed it when you initially created the character in order to export the character to a character file. Click Done. Uh, sound, select sound of your character. Uh, name should be saved up already, so you can just click Done. And then uh, if you want to create a party, go ahead and click Create Party. But if you're just correct, uh, cl uh, creating a single character just click accept set your skill level click venture forth skip the dialogue if you like and now uh, the default key to uh, show your character stats is the R key so let's go ahead and press that or if you change the default key press the key to bring up your character stats and here you go I changed strength to my dwarf to 18 and 100 which will show up as double zeros and of course dexterity everything else is 18 except for constitution which is set to 19 and then over here you can scroll down if you changed up some of your other stats it should show like you changed your proficiencies it'll show the proficiencies you're good at it'll show um, the other stats here as well if you changed anything else up you'll probably show higher or in the case armor class lower um, 
uh, values. But there you go. Go ahead and hit the R key to get out of that. And therefore, you can enjoy your game with your enhanced stats. Hopefully, this has helped you out and uh, helped to where you can enjoy Baldur's Gate without the pains of their, um, I can say, less than spectacular uh, character points rule system. <laughs> all right. Take care, one and all, and God bless you.